Dave, Fiona and yourself, very generous uh, initiative uh, and it's important to emphasise this isn't for the football club, this is for the community trust. Yes Dave, well um, you know Fiona and I have been, been gone for 30 years from, Ab from, from Aberdeen but we come back every year and, and for our kids and grandkids out there and for ourselves Aberdeen is still home. And uh, we've been blessed financially and um, with the uh, great opportunity we have to build a great facility at Kingsford for the whole community, not just for the football club, um, Fiona and I have decided to, to ring fence a million pounds, not for the football club, but a million pounds for the community to help the um, people of Aberdeen and Aberdeenshire. So it's from them as a gift uh, from us, Dave. It's important to recognise the work that the Community Trust have managed to do thus far without any facilities of their own and also how much they're involved in non-football activity. Yeah, yeah, that's a great point. You know, This year I was just talking to the Community Trust folks and again, it's totally separate. The AFC Community Trust is a registered charity and has to, um, has to uh, go back to the uh, charity administrators and what they do and what they spend. And so it's separate. But the, the critical thing there is, is that 250,000 participations are projected this year. 250,000 participations, and they've no facilities. 125,000 of these participations will be absolutely non-football related. So it's critical. Can you imagine what we can do with real facilities at Kingsford for the community and the whole facility? 250,000 people without, uh, 50,000 participations without facilities. It's exciting. It is, and it, it's come, I know when you were here the first time you first mooted the idea of a, a trust. It took a wee while to get off the ground, but uh, as you say, in such a short period of time, it's developed so extensively. Yeah. We actually set up the community trust uh, back when you and I looked a bit younger, Dave. <laughs> no offence. Uh, but uh, yeah, 17 years ago we set the trust up and it kind of sat there until about four years ago and, and uh, George Yule resurrected it and it's been phenomenal, allowing us to build affinity and give back as a football club to the community uh, of Aberdeen. So it is so important that uh, come October that we get the go-ahead and actually make this happen? Yeah, well we have the money ring-fenced because I have trustees to report to on our foundation in the States, so the money has been 100% ring-fenced for the community, for the Kingsford project, and um, this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, lifetime opportunity. This is a £50 million privately funded project. You know, there's no government funding being asked for here, privately funded project and I think for the people of Aberdeen I'm excited to look two, three, four years out when this is all built to see it being used almost every day of the year by the people of Aberdeen and Aberdeenshire.